right, Courtney, uh, thanks for spending some time with me today. It's been great to work with you on this important search for Berkeley Hall. Um, and uh, just want to begin to tell folks um, a little bit about yourself, uh, your background, and what drew you to the school. Absolutely. Well, thank you so much for having me. I'm really excited to uh, partner with you in our search for our new IT manager here at Berkeley Hall. Um, so I'm Courtney Grady. I am the current director of campus operations. I'm the first director of operations here at our campus, which is also very really exciting as well. Um, I've been in the education sector for over a decade now. I've had the opportunity to work with public schools, public charter, and now independent schools. And within the last five years of my career, I've really mastered the, the mindset of operations. Um, I love operations. It's fun creating systems <laughs> um, and having this opportunity to over see multiple departments here at Berkeley Hall. Um, one of them uh, would be our technology department, and it's very exciting because we've had this opportunity to really turn around just the culture of our department um, and aligning it with the culture of our campus and allowing our values to live in our everyday work. Um, and so having those opportunities just to bring a new person onto our team uh, to be a part of this change movement that we're excited for, um, I'm really excited for the opportunity. That's wonderful. And um, uh, just give folks who have never been to the, the school a little bit of a window into Berkeley Hall and, and what it's like and uh, some of the, the unique aspects of the school. Yes, of course. So we're located in the Santa Monica Mountains. Uh, so we have this beautiful campus that sits on 66 acres of land. Uh, we have uh, roughly around 230 students on our campus from nursery all the way to eighth grade. So it's beautiful to see our nursery babies transition off into eighth grade. And then now we're getting ready to say goodbye to them because we're approaching graduation. Um, we have a variety of different um, components here. Some of the great things that are highlighted in the job description is our work with our DIB, our wellness center, um, our depth of study, which is really focused on the development of teachers. And so having this opportunity from a technology technology perspective and supporting our teachers with instructional learning, like we've really, really changed the game there. So um, it's a beautiful campus. I definitely encourage you to check out our website so you have a more in-depth view of who our students are, who our teachers are, and then get to learn a little bit more about our administrative team. I have to say, I was at your campus. It is glorious. Uh, the views overlooking uh, Greater Los Angeles are so just awesome. breathtaking. Yes. Um, <laughs> of course, technology is not about always uh, just looking outside in the trees, but uh, you know, th th there's a core aspect to to, to operations, and there's a core aspect to serving the classroom. Mm -hmm. So, uh, you know, certainly uh, the the digital is important here. Yeah, Talk about the tech program and where it is right now, and uh, where you're hoping to go with it. Yeah, so currently right now, our technology department oversees um, pretty much ensuring that our campus security uh, networks are fully um, up and running to keep um, anyone on the outside from coming inside. Um, we have great partnerships with our teachers and then really having the opportunity to really learn what it is that they need from a technology aspect to support the instructional learning. So does it mean that we have to upgrade our smart boards? Does it mean that we have to partner with our facilities team to talk about the um, electric electrical real estate inside of our classrooms to create more movement? Um, it doesn't mean enhancing our customer service through service tickets and ensuring that they're properly being opened and properly being closed and allowing us to have the follow up with, you know, whoever the submitter is just to make sure that they're not having any issues. Um, they also work very closely with me. Um, having that opportunity uh, to work with the IT manager uh, once we find this new person, uh, we'll continue to pick up some projects that we've been really working on. One of those projects could be expanding expanding our Wi-Fi outdoor network to support our emergency preparedness safety campus initiative, um, having the opportunity to really clean up what does the computer usage um, from a student perspective really look like and how can we continue to make sure that devices are not being broken and they're not being lost or anything of that nature. Um, and then also thinking from a budget perspective, like where are our money really going when it comes to the technology department and working with the IT manager to really to expand that? Do we need to have one-to-one um, -one printers, or do we need to have just campus network printers? Um, do we need to make sure that we have a replenishment of technology devices such as MacBooks and iPads, just to support with the turnaround when we do have to have a device submitted to Apple Care? So really fun work, really exciting work, and so we want to continue to maintain that. That's, out, uh, that's excellent. Um, 
And let's talk also about just the, the work that's happening at the, the management level or sort of, you know, at the vision of the school. Yeah. You, you, you report right to the head of school. Mm -hmm. uh, Sarah is, has been there a while, but this is her first year as the permanent uh, uh, next head of school. Yes. But, you know, just where are things headed? What are some things you're talking about that, um, you know, uh, could possibly have a, a touch point of technology or even if not, just to sort of give folks, uh, again, a sense of where the school is, is going? Yeah. So I think in the space of um, bringing myself on as a first director of operations, you will hear a lot of team members say, we want to operationalize something. How can we create a system for this? Um, so having that opportunity to look at our technology department and identify some gaps that we identified earlier in the summer last year, um, Black Box system management was one of our, our gaps. And so having someone that really was able to have that expertise and are able to look at the current systems that we have in place and then start to move some of the public puzzle pieces. Um, we definitely want to make sure that we do have a person that has a high level exemplar um, dysfunctional knowledge of BlackBot so we can continue the development of here's this user manual, here's the team members that it impacts, and we want to make sure that we are teaching others how to engage in our BlackBot system um, along with uh, supporting it with someone that really has a good stronghold of how the system actually really works together. Um, the IT manager um, also will continue to maintain our third-party partnerships. So with Neuralink Technology, uh, we wanted to make sure that the IT, IT manager is able to um, continue to have those weekly meetings with our third parties, vendor management, um, if we need to have a replenishment of technology, or if we want to expand our technology, uh, we want to make sure that that individual was able to maintain that. So those are our two main pieces um, that Sarah and I really collaborated with. With. And I think from a personal piece from me, that customer service, like I said, is really important because we really want to make sure that our teachers are heard. We really want to make sure there's zero interruptions, but we also really want to take um, the excitement from our technology team and allowing it to live within the day-to-day -day of their operations. That's great. All right, final question, just in terms of the day-to-day. -day. I mean, just you've been there a year. I mean, for somebody, again, who hasn't been to the school, just a little story or a little something you observe just you know kind of the what makes Berkeley Hall unique or yeah. or kind of you know what makes it such a special place to come to uh anything sort of come to mind as you've sort of you know been been through all the campus seen all the operations seen all the aspects of the school uh just a little a little story that kind of you know encapsulates the why and the excitement of Berkeley. Hall. Of course, of course. So our campus is a 7.30. We start greeting students around 7.30 and we go until 3.15. Um, so with us, I would say the best moment is always going to be on your Monday. Your Monday is your kickoff to an amazing start of the week and everything that um, that we do every Monday is we always kick off the week with our morning assembly. Um, our technology department really partners with our advancement team along with our um, head of school who's overseeing our programs. Um, and we want to always ensure sure that we have the morning assembly technology set up every every Monday. Um, what's beautiful about our morning assemblies is we have a lot of cultural representation that happens on a monthly basis. And so having the opportunity to allow our students to express who they are as, as far as identity, to, to express who they are as far as culturally and ethnic background, um, and allowing their parents to be able just to see them and to be proud. Um, I want to say that that is that space of what we would say community. Um, Berkeley Hall is all about community. And so we want to make sure that if you are coming onto our campus as a guest or an interested family, if you are making it within the round of our interview process, you will always see that community is always going to be represented. That was probably the thing that really hooked me when I was going through the interview process and just being able to sit in the lobby and just hear a few students like, oh my goodness, we have a guest, we have to be quiet. Um, that just shows like, how our students also respect um, our campus, which is one of our, our values here. So having this opportunity, if I do have the pleasure to engage and to meet with you, you will absolutely fall in love with Berkeley Hall. That's super. Well, I appreciate your time, Courtney, so much. It is, again, a wonderful school, wonderful community. And uh, thank you so much for your time today. We look forward to working with you on this important search for your next IT manager. Thanks again. Awesome. Thank you so much. All right. Thanks.